we will now perform an inferior alveolar nerve block in quadrant three. The first thing we need to do is palpate the coronoid notch using our thumb or index finger. Then move the thumb or finger medially to palpate the internal oblique ridge. Next, we need to identify the pterygomandibular raphae, which is this band of tissue. Then we need to identify the pterygotemporal depression, which is lateral to the raphae. Here we identify the insertion point. The height is determined by the coronoid notch, the deepest point of the raphae, and is usually placed about 10 millimeters above the occlusal plane. Before administering the injection, we will apply topical anesthesia. Firstly, we will dry the tissues then we will apply topical for one to two minutes. A long needle will be required for the inferior alveolar nerve block injection. Use the mirror to retract the cheek, ensure the tissue is taut and ensure the patient has open wide. Place the barrel of the syringe over the contralateral premolars and prepare to insert the needle. The height is determined by the coronoid notch, the deepest point of the raphae and is usually 10 millimetres above the occlusal plane. Insert the needle 20 to 25 millimetres, usually two thirds to three quarters of a long needle. There should be no resistance until you gently contact bone. Then aspirate, pulling back on the ring to ensure that you are not piercing the blood supply and deposit the solution slowly. Carefully withdraw the needle. We will now perform a long buckle block in quadrant three. First, we need to identify the target bony site, which is the anterior border of the ramus, and the soft tissue landmark, which is the mucous membrane distal and buckle to the last molar in the arch. The barrel of the syringe should be parallel to the occlusal plane on the side of the injection. Before we administer the local anaesthetic, we need to apply the topical anaesthetic. So first we will dry the tissues and then we will apply the topical for one to two minutes. The needle length for the long buckle block may be long or short, but usually this injection is used in conjunction with an inferior alveolar nerve block, in which case you would use the same long needle. Carefully retract the buccal mucosa with the mirror and hold the tissue taut. Orient the syringe so that it is parallel to the occlusal plane on the side of the injection. Insert the needle two to three millimeters and deposit approximately 0.2 to 0.3 mils of solution. Withdraw the needle carefully.